So you're just having a nice chilly? I'm enjoying the view from the motorhome. So shall we have a look at that view? <coughs> look at that. That's really nice. It's really warm as well. Yeah. So it's lovely. So we've got the lake and the marina there. And all the boats on that side, if you can see them very well. And then we are taking you for a walk with us in a bit, and we're going up. <laughs> we're going up there. I'm going to take you up there. I don't know if you can see there's a church up there. I think it's St Martin's, I think, of Red. I'll have to have a look. Yesterday there was people climbing up the side of there. Professional climbers, obviously, not just randoms. But <laughs> they were, yeah, they were climbing up there, which was nice to see. Hello. So, right, the plan is to get up there. Um, now we've been told if we follow this path, there should be a gate. You Take a left. A not it? Yeah, there was a gate back there though, so that goes into a grazing oh. field. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so we're going to try and go up to the church today and um, see what the view is like up there. Um, what church is it again? Some bikes coming. Ah, okay. <laughs> I think the... it's St Martin's. I'll have to just double check that. Oh, okay. When we get up there. But... Yeah. It looks like a, a nice cycle path as well. But the sun's shining, which is always good. And um, we're going to work our way, like I say, up the top there. See what, um, what that brings. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. So after a bit of a, a steep climb, we've made it to the top and it looks like not just a church up here but some form of fort. Um, yeah, so if I turn you there? around. <laughs> you just missed that. <laughs> we've got a fort there and a church over there. And our campsite is just below this. so. First, we might as well go over to the fort, see what that's like. Looks like it's got steps, I don't know if that's for the top or to go down. It may go within the hill. It's got a gate on it. So obviously they've, um, they don't want people coming in, but uh, Wow. A bit random, and you might see someone random. Hmm. Oh, I don't know if you can see there, but there's, I've locked someone in. <laughs> Happy days. <clears throat> so, right. We have worked out something that you can actually get into that little fort building. So we're gonna give that a go and go up to the top. Um, just a case of opening the gate. But what I wanted to show you first is this is where we're camped uh, for the last few days. Oh, we can see her. Just down there. And that, that wagon there, that's the new van. You can see over in the distance, that's the channel. Look how still it is today, it's beautiful.
This place really warm. And you've got the marina there just off to the side. It's quite peaceful, quiet sight. Um, we are on the footpath, or literally just beyond the footpath from um, where everyone's walking up to this hill. Um, so yeah, it can have a bit of noise in the day, but nothing that really is disturbed us. You can us. see it there, can't you, with the footpath just behind the, the van? Yeah, I can try and point it out. Just behind where the van is? Yeah, just behind the van. Um, yeah, so we're going to go up to the top of that fort and see what the view is up there and then we're gonna have a look at the church yeah let's, let's go. go about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know here she goes Let me in! So she's making her way upstairs. Ooh. Oh, it's not for me. <laughs> what told you? What are you looking at? Oh, nice. So Glastonbury over that way. And up hills. Over that way. Oh. Bristol International Airport over that way. Spider. <laughs> Newport. Western Supermare. Brecon. Cardiff. Just over there. Cardiff. Hey. What a lovely view. It is a lovely view. I see what's in the middle. It's like a cram. What are we looking at? beacon torch so I ain't seen no history on this but I'm wondering if it is like a like a beacon so the sea's just over there so they used to light the beacon yeah maybe because of it's what it can see the danger and stuff like that I don't know yeah we've seen for miles seen for miles it's easier coming down than it is going uphill easier coming down <laughs> than going up here right pretty good. Let's take you over to the um, to the church, yeah? Is yeah. that where we're going next? Church, yeah. yeah. Right, so the gate to the church is open. A little bit squeaky gate. It's quite eerie actually. I can only imagine, I can only imagine at night, at night it'd be quite... Eerie? Yeah. Yeah. Quite spooky. Maybe a, a good spot for Halloween. You have to come through all these brambles. Once you get through the gate. Brambles. Well, it is, isn't it? They're all spiky. And then the actual graveyard itself. I can only hear his lovely graveyard. It'd be quite a special place to be led to rest. Well, that goes back to 1876 when person was born, so. I can only imagine these uh, these graves are quite old. <clears throat> it's just sitting here right at the top of this hill. That's where you can get down and think that way above the village but what a lovely lovely graveyard there's some spectacular graves in here like proper effort what did you think the church was called St Martin's well, or St Nicholas 
Yep, St Nicholas. Lovely. So as we look through the gate, okay, that's sort of the entrance there. Um, but unfortunately, it's padlocked, so we won't be going in there today. Where does that St Martin's down there then? It could be. Yeah. There's one's the old church and one's the new church. And there's a, a church just down there. A bit of a uh, bit of respect to all past serving. A bit of struggle getting in the gate there, but um, often you come to different places and you know you see the uh, memorials for people that actually stuck up for the country and fought for what they believed in um, but yeah what a lovely memorial on the top of this hill with a lovely setting you know I'll spin you around again you may not appreciate the view that we're actually getting right now it's absolutely gorgeous How are we doing? How are we doing, Jodie? All right? Yeah, it's a bit windy. But a bit windy, uh, and the sun is trying to break free. That's why I've got my shades on today. However, I've got my coat on as well because the wind's picked up a little bit and it's not quite warm summer yet. Yeah, so it's a bit windy. Um, but it's, do you know, it's really nice to be walking on the beach on a bank holiday. It's a, that's what bank holidays are for. Lovely fresh. <laughs> I've seen my shades on, it's because the sun does keep popping its head out every now and again but with the wind I've got a jacket on too so jumper jacket sunglasses British summertime windy though remember shall I tell Jodie about this because it looks to me if I send her this way bit of sinking mud there I won't tell her a thing oh dear there she goes <laughs> see you later <laughs> nah, I'm sure she'll be all right. Right, okay, so blink of an eye, and we're pretty much in Western Supermare now. But this is the car park I'm on about. So if you look at that, uh, behind these posts here, it's actually quite big. There seems to be parking stewards and stuff that are here to park everyone. Um, it is on, yeah, sand, but it seems quite solid. So if you come to Western Supermare, there's ample parking, plenty. Plenty for everyone. Plenty for everyone. Um, we've made our way across the, the beach. Uh, it's quite nice. And we're now in Western Supermare. Yeah, so in front of us is the big wheel. And you can see the big wheel, maybe. Maybe you can see it. When we get closer, we'll definitely <laughs> get a, a picture of and it. And then over the other side is the sea. The sun is still trying to break through. Yeah, we're just going to head off into the town area, see what that's all about. We will try and pick you up the best we can. We've got the camera to film as much as we can, but it's quite busy, so we'll just do. We'll do what we can do. Let's go with the floor. Right. Yeah. So, we've spotted some donkeys on the beach out for the season. So, we're waiting for this sun weather, sunny weather to come out and this warmer weather. We keep thinking it's going to break through. It is warmer, but it's very windy. Um, so people are still going onto the beach with the kids. They've yeah. been bank holiday. But I don't think they're going to get much sunbathing done. Maybe some sandcastles if they don't blow over. But I don't think they're going to be dipping their toes in the sea unless they're crazy. Um, well, the tide is right out anyway. Is it? Yeah. Right it. And that's the big wheel. Fancy you gone there, Lee? Nah, you're all right. Don't is like it, heights. Is it not for you? Not for me. Bit of a big wheel? 
but it's not for thee. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Nachos, <laughs> ice cream, rock shop. Our kids, up there. It's your classic uh, Sylvania rock shop. Toys. One. About to leave, already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Beautiful. And you've got, you can see the big wheel properly from here, look. Ah. And that's where we came from over there. Lovely, so we're on the pier, um, seeing what's at the end. So you all know it is a pound per person to get on the pier. Yeah. Um, and they only accept cash, so um, there's a change machine next door, which was getting used massively. Um, but yeah, pound to get on the pier. So let's see what it's all about. What are we here, Excuse then? me. <laughs> I've yes. seemed to have lost yes, my young lady. Can, Mr. Policeman, can you help me? I seem to have lost my husband. <laughs> can I, I report him gone. as a missing person? Uh, he went that way. So I'm going to try and do this. No, I'm going to try and do this with a the camera. For you. There you go. There we go. You're in. That's it um, now. Okay, the thing is, the thing is, I'm worried about it's really a little crack out. Right, here we go. Let's get out of this chair. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> She's back in. <laughs> so we just come through the really noisy arcade that's behind me. And we found Tiffany's restaurant at the end, which is just behind me. And uh, look who I found. I don't know who he thinks he is. You, me and the sea. So who are you then? Uh, I'm just going in Tiffany's. Neptune? Neptune? I don't know. Is he not like the king of the sea or something, Neptune? Okay. Yeah. So, king Lee by the sea. <laughs> actually, he nicked it off me. It's actually my chair. He's not, he's not having it back now. Hang on, what was that? Ah. <laughs> I was coming back to you then. <laughs> I was blended in. <laughs> uh, they don't got any faces, darling. That's how I knew you were there, because you had a face and they didn't. <laughs> Going on there, Lee. You're not off for on me. the not for you. I'm not going on on my own. So that'll be enough for today.
So we've come to the end of our first trip out in the new uh, new motorhome, um, and we absolutely love it. You know, at the moment, um, we can't find nothing wrong with it. Uh, maybe one thing, and that's the central locking habitation door seems to be intermittent. You can lock the door, so that's that's not a problem. But I'll get that that sorted out. Um, so. Jody is here just working from the motor home. Um, it's all not, not all play, uh, unfortunately. Um, she has to work, so we're, I'm running around packing up and she's working away. And working, then, from that home, not working, working from home. Yeah, working from that <laughs> home. Um, so we're going to wrap this video up here. Hope you enjoyed it, and I suppose we will see them hopefully on the next video. Yeah. Definitely. See you later. See ya. Bye.